Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to figure out how to solve our front license plate problem. If you live in a dictatorship state in New York like I do, they require you to have a front license plate. I'm not the only state that requires that. There's plenty of other ones. But coming from Arizona, I didn't have to have one. So in New York, I was like, what do I do? Because if we go over here, we look at my E36. If you look at this one, it has two holes for the front license plate. The E92 does not. It only pertains to the M3. 335, 328, 325, whatever else, they all have it. This one, E92, M3, does not. So what do we do? We have to solve this problem, and it seems like the only way to really solve this problem is to drill some holes into our bumper. And that's the last thing that we don't want to do. So luckily, they would find a solution around this, and that is to use our tow hitch cover. So I bought a little kit, bought off eBay, because I was trying to figure out the same thing. So basically what we have here is we have little device that plugs into your tow hitch and it connects to a plate and then you mount your license plate here. So I'll show you how easy it is to do. Things that you need. Little flathead screwdriver. Take this off. Alright. You're gonna take this, you're gonna plug it in. Just like that. A crescent wrench. Tighten it up. All right. And then little bolt and washer. This is a three mil. Just goes right in there. Now. You have a couple different slots, obviously pick which one you want, how low or how high you want it. So, I chose this one. Just kind of screw that in there, like so. Take a three mil. Tighten it up. And the object, what you want to try to do, is get this thing to not hang out and touch your bumper. So you might want to just move it over as much as you can to that side. All right, now, all right, and the thing is mounted. All right, all you need is your front license plate. I mean, I have mine, you know. And mounted here, you got four locking lock nuts here with a Teflon inside of it. Just put them in here, like this. Ten millimeter four millimeter or is that a five I think it's a four. Oh, it says five thirty second okay pulled it out of my millimeter one but hey let's have the wrong thing in there just kind of just tighten this up like this once you get your plate on there really super easy simple definitely a solution and I'm not the only car that that has this problem I think there's many cars that have the problem and you know some people like taking a little delete off, but for some odd reason, I don't know why M3 didn't come with an extra sort of bumper thing, you know, something that you can mount on there. Maybe they have one, maybe they don't, but regardless, I'm not drilling into the front end here. So this is a quick, easy, simple solution. I paid, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks for this thing on eBay. 
Okay, so as you can see, we got our front license plate mounted now. That's what it looks like. And if you need to make it a little bit straighter, it's bit like that, you know, kind of move it. But there we go. That's installed. Quick, easy fix or quick, easy solution, I guess I should say, to a common known problem with the E92 M3 for some strange reason. Um, I would assume that the E90 and E93 are the exactly the same way. So there we go, guys. As always, thanks for watching.